of garlic because garlic sometimes can have a negative effect chemically on some people if you ingest too much of it. But I happen to not be one of them people. And I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, so did you just roast it by itself? I just roasted it in the oven on 450 with some coconut oil. Coconut, I put coconut oil and every single thing just about because coconut oil helps with digestion when you're eating it it helps um it's a wonderful beautiful fat for one it's a it's a it's a multi strain fat and i'm quite sure everybody know about this good uh uh sweet life gourmet coconut oil <laughs> my good sister carrie lewis um i support her <laughs> and um it's healing and, and it, it helps to uh, make the food more creamier. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anyone ever noticed it, but when you like make a smoothie or when you put in stuff in soups, the, the coconut oil kind of like gives it a, a lift, like a fluffy or creamier type of texture. Oh, excuse me, yes, you have a question? Yes, I do. Um, now, I'm listening to what you said, I'm listening to the ingredients that you have here. Now, you're using the term soup. Is it actually going to be a soup? Because I don't see a liquid, but you said the, the vegetable stock, is, that, is it going to be thick or will it be well, thin? What we're going to do is we're going to add the broth and we're going to um, add it slowly to get it to the, necess uh, the, uh, the consistency we want it. But generally, um, I actually have had this raw. I, I like it raw. Um, and I like it cooked too. And a lot of times I use yams when I make a soup like this because it's a different type of texture with just butternut squash. And some people, they're, they're not you know familiar with the butternut squash as much as other people, but potatoes are, are good. And potatoes are good for your skin. And it's good for... Um, your eyes is good for all stuff. And um I'm trying to see what your question is. My question was more or less will it be thin or will it be thick? It's it's gonna be it, it, it's gonna be based off of whatever you, you choose when you're making it yourself. But for me, I don't really like a real thin or thick soup. I like it like a kind of like, you know, put my crackers with it. You know, like a tomato bisque. That's that's the, the consistency the consistency okay. I kinda like. Now you know, if anybody want to say they like it thicker or enough or anything, that's fine here too today because we can do that. We can accommodate the uh, request. in the skins of like onions and garlic and things of that nature and because we are um, speaking about building our immune system I use the whole garlic cloves and just put it in here without with the skin on it that was roasted and raw now had I not told y'all y'all probably wouldn't have known <laughs> I just wanted to tell you because it's a it's a gem in the skin of, of, of these types of vegetables, especially if you grow them yourself or you can get them organic, you really want to cook with the skins because it has so many minerals and, and trace minerals, especially when you get the 
ones that, that grow out of the ground. So it's so amazing and so wonderful. I love food. I think food is so awesome. And I feel like God and the Creator just, just blessed us so graciously with food that can heal our bodies mm -hmm. without any help from anybody. Mm -hmm. I just think that is so phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe how food is truly our medicine and most people just don't even know it. And mm -hmm. so I'm just grateful to be in the in the in the knowing group of people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm gonna say this too uh, for me I, I don't measure stuff. Mm -hmm. I just um, do stuff how I feel because it's the energy that I, I, I work with when I'm preparing food and I just let my worry tell me what to do <laughs> and um, because this is such a love affair for me with food I, I enjoy touching my food and I enjoy doing stuff with my hands but for uh, the sake of you know sanitation and everybody here we use gloves but um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an alchemist I'm a chemical person and I believe in you know the warmth and the touch of your hands and cooking your food and preparing your food and I just don't want to not mention that because preparing food is a process you know it starts with an idea first mm -hmm what you want to do. Then your mind and your heart has to be right. And then you present, you know, the gift. <laughs> 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 